one thing that I did want to ask you about, and it goes back to the fundamentals of messaging, is what are the deliverables of messaging? It's one of these abstract terms, and I struggle with clients when it comes to positioning in terms of what do I get? Sometimes they don't get a lot, but they get something that's really important. Can you walk me through the messaging deliverables and how you position them, given the fact that a lot of your work is around research and discovery, mm -hmm. a small menu at work, relatively small, is what you're going to give them. Walk mm -hmm. me through that package. It's a really important question because often these things seem fluffy, but are transformative for marketing and for companies. I can only talk about the way that I work and I'm sure people work in different ways, but that final, if we start right at the end, that final deliverable for me that I, I deliver is a, is a messaging playbook, a brand messaging playbook. The actual format can depend. We're talking a slide or doc or whatever it is. It's a document that really is that one source of truth that contains everything that you need to create successful, effective copy and have a clear framework for your messaging. Obviously, it's going to evolve. It's not just some deck that you put in a drawer. It's something that you're going to work on actively and shift, but that's that final point. Another really important thing, and I always say this to my clients, is we talk about deliverables, but the process in itself is a deliverable. The most important, but most intangible deliverable and outcome for me is just seeing that aha moment and that clarity and an entire team being able to rally around something and finally having a consensus <laughs> around like, yes, this is our strategy. And now we have the confidence to go out and go ahead. So I think that's a really important part to not undermine of this work. And I'm always wary when people worry a little bit too much about the deliverable and forget that this whole process, we're going to have like these aha moments along the way. Then breaking down that deliverable in, in a more practical way. Messaging isn't a one size fits all. That final deliverable changes depending on the stage of the company that I'm working with, the product, the growth and the challenges that they've had and the work that we need to do, how advanced they are as a company, how developed and the kind of work that we need to do. But I always split the deliverable into, I would say, three to four key sections. One, it's always starting with who are we? That comes down to those brand fundamentals. So we will always touch on what is the, the mission of the company? What's the, the strategic vision? We'll always look at the strategic narrative and the story. Often I'm working with B2B SaaS companies who are either going through, have gone through, will be fundraising. This is a really important part to understand the whole narrative. And there are always changes around that because companies still stick with the whole problem solution, but that's not a, a compelling narrative. So there's always a part about kind of who we are. Then there is what we do and, and, and how we say it, like what we do and what we say. And that's where I touch on value propositions, core value propositions, and really then break down key messaging pillars. So a fundamental part of a messaging strategy for me is, is messaging pillars. So what are the core concepts, the themes, the core messages that you as a company want people to remember that you can rally around? and that kind of differentiate you from others, as well as kind of unique selling points. And we build out a whole messaging framework or a messaging matrix around that. And then with some companies, the, the last piece is how we sound. And this is that kind of layer, layer on top when you actually want to build out a messaging strategy and develop that throughout a company is, well, okay, if I give this to my content team, my copy team, cool, but how do we actually sound? And so there we look at, okay, well, what's the brand voice and giving you some rules and some guidelines, some guidance on style so you can actually differentiate yourself on a kind of word by word level.